The first ever Yu-Gi-Oh duel that I had uh, was probably a year and a half ago or maybe two years ago. I think I was in year 10. But what really stood out for me in my first Yu-Gi-Oh duel was how complicated the game looked at first. Because um, I was sat here messing around with cards that I didn't even know how to use. Like some examples would be some of these. These were some of the cards that I used to use uh, my first duels apart from uh, probably like these four because these ones i got uh, from packs but some of these cards i did use and it was really difficult for me to understand how the game works so with that i'm probably gonna talk to you guys in this video about how to not do what i did in my first duel and i'm gonna talk to you guys about how my duel went who i was with uh, what happened and uh, yeah so I will, I will pretty much set the scene um, I'm out on a weekend uh, just chilling with Yam, like just messing around, you know, going to his and whatever. Then he introduced me to this card game called Yu Gi Oh! And I heard of it before, but I didn't know what it was. Because he, like, I played card games like Magic the Gathering and Pokemon, like the Pokemon the TCG. So I heard of Yu Gi Oh! But I didn't quite know what he was on about because he was talking about, like, dueling and stuff. And I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. But I knew what it, what it was based on. I knew it was a Japanese um, like anime comic that blew up in Japan and it blew up here too. It blew up all around the world, especially in America. Americans love Yu-Gi-Oh just as much as I love Yu-Gi-Oh now. But yeah, he said to me, "Oh, do you want to? Oh, sorry. So, do you want to record some? Uh, not record. Do you want to do some Yu-Gi-Oh duels?" And I was like, "I don't know what you're on about." So then he walks into school on the Monday and hands me a bunch of cards. Probably about this many cards in total. Not these exact cards, but um, he, he hands me like a massive pack full of cards. And he goes, make a deck out of that. I'll talk to you through how to make the deck. And then we'll do on the weekend. So me and him are sat there in our break and lunchtime just going through the deck that I'm making. Having like Mystical Elves in there, some Bazoo Soul Eaters. And one, I think I had one extra deck monster in here, but I think it was a Synchro. I didn't have to Synchro yet. So we just put it in there for like show i guess i don't know so uh yeah so then the saturday rolls around my deck is complete not the best deck in the world bear in mind it was there's literally like a set of level fours a blue eyes white dragon and a rabbit dragon that was it obviously spell cards and trap cards but i didn't know how to use them so saturday came along i, I learned how to summon properly like with the number summons so for example level five and six is one tribute level seven and onwards is like two to three so I knew how to do that. I didn't know about the spell cards or the trap cards. So I was I was a bit confused. So me and Yan decided to meet up and we go to a local library near us. Where it was peace and quiet. You know, we don't want anyone to like inter intervene, interfere, same I don't know. I don't know if it's the same word, but I'm gonna go with it. Interfere slash intervene with uh, what what we're doing. So uh, we sit in the library, raise the door, uh, we go get some drinks, get some food. Uh, bring our charges, you know, so we can keep track of life points and so on. And then he goes first. He sets, he sets the monster, sets the spell card, trap card down. I couldn't tell which one it was. He sets the face down sp in spell zone. My turn came along. I draw, and this is where I hit shit hit the fan. I summon mystical elf defense position because I, I obviously knew about attack and defense. Defense position. I tried to activate a trap card on my first turn. You can't do that in Yu-Gi-Oh. You have to set the trap card down and then on either your opponent's turn or your next turn, you can flip the trap card over and activate its effect. I thought, I, I read the card. It was to destroy one monster on the graveyard and then special summon one monster from your deck with the same attack uh, attack or less of that what you destroyed. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll do that and bring in a new monster and then go for your attack. I couldn't do that. It was a trap card. I wasn't allowed to do the trap card effect. So, this is where Yang got a bit like face palm moment on me. Because he, he started five minutes explaining that trap cards you have to set down and do it. Spell cards only some of them you can activate, some of them you can save and stuff. So, about 10 minutes of me going through it. So, I figured it out. And then 
basically it was rinse and repeat. The exact same things kept happening. But when I did activate a spell card, Jan destroyed it. And I thought he was cheating. Because <laughs> I didn't know that you could negate activation of spells and stuff from monster effects or spell cards of your own or trap cards. So I was confused. I was like, Jan, what? Like, I didn't know what he was doing. So I thought he was cheating. And then uh, he told me about it. Like, um, the word negate. I didn't even know what it meant. So it just meant like, uh, don't allow it to happen pretty much. So he shuts down my activation and then he wins the duel. And then obviously, I, it was my first duel, so I, I was bound to lose from the, from the get-go. Jan's been studying Yu-Gi-Oh far longer than I have. He's got more knowledge of the game than me. Um, he's only recently brought me into uh, some Link Summons uh, slash Monster Summoning uh, uh, with uh, number monsters, so XZs. For example, this is the first XZ monster that um, he decided to get me, so f big shout out to Jan for that. Um, all these cards here we got from packs. But now that I know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh, I find it bizarre how I didn't know how to play it in the first place. Because I watched the anime, I studied the anime, and when it came to the duel up, I, I didn't know what to do. Because obviously, I don't, sorry about I got a message, but anime and Yu-Gi-Oh uh, Yu for me, no, anime and Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, anime versus real life for Yu-Gi-Oh are two different things. Because I thought, obviously, the anime is meant to be like over-exaggerated, like cartoony, so I thought they were just like being flexible with the ruling so i thought oh maybe they're just doing the trap card effect because that's how they want to do it like to add tension and i thought we could just activate it there and then straight away you couldn't do that you got shut down straight away so yeah so to anyone who's actually designed for Yu Gi Oh, um like recent spell cards activate whenever you want equip spells are really good as well for some monsters even a spellcaster deck trap cards are a no-go do not set them down no, do not activate them straight away like i did and also what i did do was i tried to summon a blue eyes white dragon from my hand straight away level eight i had no monsters on the field no tributes obviously yeah um, uh demoralized me by saying you can't summon a level eight on your first turn so that was really bad but you know i've learned a lot from playing Yu Gi Oh. i've learned how to adapt play styles and i've learned how to be a bit technical in some terms like I've learned how to become like a more fluid, uh, ex extensive player. Because usually I would only go for monsters with like oh high defense or high attack or uh, a certain type or certain attribute. So like I, on some Duel Links uh, decks I used to make, I had like a, only a light attribute deck or maybe just a fairy deck or a plant deck. I've still got some of them, but not as bad as they were before. Like, I had a dragon deck which I was really like focused on and then Yang comes out with all these decks like Destiny Heroes, Elemental Heroes, Neospatians, uh, like Dark Magicians that you've seen in my videos and I just, the, the world of Yu-Gi-Oh just absolutely fascinates me like my camera literally just like decided to turn off because for some reason my iPhone's running out of storage but even though I have literally like 20 photos on it because I, because for some reason it deleted everything so uh, yeah so like Yu-Gi-Oh is a really fascinating and unique card game that I was talking uh, before. Like I was talking about it before the whole camera situation, but Yu-Gi-Oh is a really unique game. It offers players to explore and adapt the way they play the game, much like uh, Pokemon does with like the, the your party that you, you have. Uh, the decks in Yu-Gi-Oh are so like uh, unique, and you can ex like expand on them suit your needs so for example everyone will, will run at some point one dark magician and one blue eyes white dragon deck but from that you can combine them and you can make new decks like i've been making cyber angel ritual decks i've been making arrow mage decks duel links excuse me and it's such a vibrant unique way to play Yu-Gi-Oh. it's like there's a different genre a different there's a different community to the game and I think that's why when I first got introduced to it, I really wanted to like get drawn into it because it was a really interesting game. Obviously, I didn't know what to do at first, but with that, I've learned from it, and I am so like I don't know how to explain. It. I've been researching the game a lot. I've been following Yu-Gi-Oh like YouTube channels like Duel Links Meta and uh, like people like Guns Blazing. If you heard of him, he's a good uh, YouTuber who plays Yu-Gi-Oh. Even though I don't think he's playing it anymore, but yeah. So. That's pretty much going to wrap up for this video. This has been me talking about my first Yu-Gi-Oh! duel with uh, Jan, or just in general, and 
things that I like about Yu-Gi-Oh! and things that people should avoid doing as well that I've done in the past. So uh, yeah, so I've been Kago Smith, have a great day. Please like and subscribe uh, down below, leave a comment if you thought this video was like good or bad, like send me some feedback for the next video. I've been Kago Smith, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys hopefully in the next video. Peace out.